Hello, I'm Leo Brown. This is the What If It Is True podcast as we take a look at our gospel reading for today and we try to find that virtue, try to find a way to live that in a way that makes it look like something. So it proves that what we believe is true, right? What if it is true? Gospel from Luke 24, 13 through 35. This is the very popular illustration of this walk to Emmaus as we know it, the uh, disciples on the road being joined by the stranger that seems to not know what's going on, according to they're like, what are you talking about? You don't know about all of this? So they share what has happened in Jerusalem with uh, their account of the crucifixion. The stranger then, of course, begins sharing with them, and they end up recognizing him in the breaking of the bread that this is truly Christ, right? Now, what's interesting, of course, after recognizing him, they don't stop there. They don't say, okay, we, we recognize Christ, all is good. They go back and tell his disciples that, yes, we have experienced the risen Christ. It is true. He is alive and risen, right? So I think a couple of lessons here. One is, is that it takes the Eucharist, right? It takes the sacramental grace to truly recognize Christ, right? When we're connected that way, then we're going to see something that maybe we normally wouldn't see. In addition to that, that's not where it ends, right? It's not just about that relationship. As we talked about in yesterday's podcast, it's not just this vertical. It's not just me and Jesus. It's what we do with that. How do we take it out? How do we build relationships with others? You know, if if we were as intent at building relationships with our brothers and sisters as we are with Jesus, then this world would look a whole heck of a lot different, right? We would have a completely different dynamic. And that's what God wants, right? What, what's the commandment? Love God, love others. And not love God way, 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 way more than you love others. I've heard it said by Father Larry Richards, and I love this illustration, that we love God only as much as the person that we like the least. That's something to think about, right? If that's where we are, um, and that's a, that's a, a big, uh, uh, that's an, a, a tall order, right, to think about Who do we like the least? Well, that's only as much as we love God. Pretty cool stuff. So think about that virtue. Think about not just hoarding that relationship, but actually getting out and sharing it. To find out more about what if it is true, visit us online at realliferadio.com. We stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week there. Also on our uh, radio stations in the Lexington, Kentucky area, we got a couple of those, one at 1380 AM and the other at 94.9 FM. And the companion blog, which is over at what if it is true, reallife.blogspot.com. I'm Leo Brown. This is the What If It Is True podcast. God bless.